Hey guys, what's up? This is Eric from Spofford Press, and the video today is going to show me doing yet another resin grave engraving, which is basically like a wood engraving, but done on a block of this stuff called resin grave, and it's printed in relief, just like a wood cut or a lino cut would be. But I'm going from the beginning stages to the end, and in the beginning stages this time, I've decided instead of working from a sketch like I normally do right on the block, I wanted to try a new method. So I found out about this uh, photocopy transfer method from a wood engraver named Carl Montford out in Seattle. He's amazing. You should Google him. He's incredible. Uh, but I thought this would be kind of something cool to try. I wanted to do a portrait of Charles Bradley, who is one of my favorite soul singers right now. So I said, eh, let's put them together and see how it goes. So here's a little video. It starts from the beginning. The transfer process is a little different than what I normally do, so I tried to film it. And um, then I go right through engraving and printing like I normally do, and you can see the whole thing. So let's check it out. So to try this transfer process out, some of the things you'll need are a resin grave block, uh, some ink and a rag, a transfer tool, which I'll go into a little bit further in a moment, and of course your photocopy of the image that you want to transfer, and some mineral spirits. You take your image and tape it down to the block, uh, face down, and then you're going to take a little bit of mineral spirits with a rag and simply cover the back of the paper until you can see the image starting to peek through. You basically want to get the paper slightly dampened with the mineral spirits. The photocopy you use has to be made on a laser printer because that's the type of toner that will transfer using this method. The, an inkjet copy printer won't work, so you have to do some kind of a laser printer that has the correct toner on it for the image. And now I'm taking this tool. It's a transfer tool for woodworkers. It's by a company called Lenk. And uh, basically it's like an old wood burning kit kind of tool, except the tip of it is thick and round and flat like a coin. The whole tip heats up very, very hot, and what you can do then with it is drag it across the surface of that dampened paper, and the combination of the heat from the tip of this tool and the mineral spirits will give you a pretty decent transfer of that toner image right onto the surface of the block of resin grave. After I filmed the process of transferring this photocopy onto this block, I noticed it was a little patchy and I realized I actually wanted to use a piece of resin grave that was a little bit thinner and not mounted on the MDF board. So you'll notice when I actually start engraving the block that it's a thin piece of resin grave and not one of these mounted pieces. I then used the ink and the rag to just uh, lightly stain the surface of the block. It was nice because it didn't affect the actual transfer ink, it was just able to tint all around it and throughout it. And then that way when I started engraving I can see each one of my marks because the resin grave underneath it is bright white.
So once the block was complete, I started the printing process. I made a couple of rails, one to go on each side of the resin grade block when I'm inking it. The rails are the exact height of the surface of the block, so when I ink up the brayer and go to roll it across the surface of the block, it doesn't fill in any of the details and the lines that I've carved into it, and it gives it a nice even black ink. I took some foam tape and made a little frame so that I could slide the inked block right onto the press bed and then when I place the paper on it to roll it through the press it won't shift and make any kind of a smudge on the printed paper. I took a damp cloth and I just moistened the area of the paper that would be touching the actual printed block. Printing on slightly damp paper like this helps the large black sections of the block transfer really well during the printing. The slightly dampened paper was put right into these two tabs I set up for registration and then placed down on it nice and evenly and then we ran it through the press. Using this slightly damp paper method, something new I started doing recently as well. And as you can see, when you pull the print, you get a really nice deep black that doesn't look faded at all and nice clean lines because the paper sticks to the plate just a little bit. So when you pull it up, um, you don't get a lot of shifting or smudging or anything. The prints were hung to dry. We ended up doing an addition of 55 of them. And after about three or four days, because the humidity was pretty bad over here, they got trimmed, and then they got signed and numbered, and they were ready to go. So it was a really cool process. I think the portrait came out pretty well. Um, I do like using this transfer process. I'll probably do it again. It's always fun to try something new out, and I think this was pretty successful. So I'm um, looking forward to sending the first of these 55 to Charles Bradley himself. Hopefully he'll enjoy the print of him. <laughs> and uh, the rest of them are in our Etsy shop if you're interested. So thanks.